Hey guys, no long drawn out intro, you know what you clicked on this for, just a uh, hopefully quick tutorial on uh, getting yourself started on editing some Diablo 2 maps. So, let's get started. So, there's four things you're probably going to need, maybe only three, depending on if you have Excel, OpenOffice, or something similar, or if you just want to use this. Um, so, the first thing that you're going to want to do is extract your um, Windows a DS1 edit here. Um, this is a brand new folder here, so nothing else is here, so I'm just going to extract it here. And we'll just leave that name on there, whatever you can... Actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a proper name. DS1 Edit. And then, next thing you're going to want to do is this uh, DS1 Edit Loader here. You're just going to want to uh, extract this. And we're just gonna, for ease of sake, we're just gonna throw that um, into, there we go, the same folder we just extracted that first one to. That way everything's all in here. Uh, now we can extract a FJ sheet edit, that's just kind of an Excel alternative. And last but not least, this MPQ editor here. And yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, it does not have a folder built into it there, so you might have to do that, or you can just uh, make your own here. And it would be, oops, what is there we go, perfect. So you should have your MPQ editor here now, your DS1 edit, and your AFJ sheet here with your DS1 loader extracted into that. It doesn't really matter where it goes, but I just find it's easiest to put it in there. Um, now, I'm just going to make one more folder here. Um, this one, I'll just call this um, My Files. And um, as well, we're going to go in here, go to Sources, and I'm just going to make a new folder in here, because that one's already got stuff in it. And we'll just call this Extract. You can name that whatever you want, though. None of those names matter at all. Um, so now that you've got all that stuff going here, um, and we've made the um, My Files folder there, extracted all that other good stuff, um, now we can. The first thing we're probably going to want to do is go to this MPQ editor here. And you need to have Diablo 2 installed somewhere on your computer for this. And just open up whichever one. X64 is fine. Go to MPQs. Now the first time you open this here, you might get a uh, pop-up like this here. Uh, just select, uh, you know, this is where it's going to send them to. So let's set that one up here. Um... Um, and we are going to send the files from here to this sources extract folder. And this list files pass does not matter at all. You can just pick, you know, whatever drive here, uh, whatever folder. You can just pick itself even, so. Or you can just leave it blank like this, and then uh, when you come back here, you'll see that I didn't even make it anything there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, now you're going to want to go to your MPQs here, and open the MPQ. And I like to do it in this order here. So the first one, go to your Diablo 2 folder, just your root regular vanilla Diablo 2. For me, it's in a different place than C program files, but... Uh, doesn't matter for this step here. Um, so we're just going to get the D2 EXP, the expansion one. And you should see it here. Now we're going to go data, global, tiles, and we are just going to take all of this because why not, right? So just click on tiles here, select all of them, hit F5. And that's going to extract them all there. And then we're also going to go to Excel. And we're going to grab uh, level pressed, 
level type, whoops, and if you want you can also grab levels. Not super useful for what we're doing, but it might be useful later. And again, F5, or you can right click and go to extract. And then I go to MPQ again here, go to open MPQs. This time we're going to go to D2 data and go to the same tiles folder here and just grab Act 1, 2, 3, 4. The Arena and Guild don't have any maps that are used in the map list, so I don't uh, really worry about them. If you want, you could try to mess around with them, but I don't know what uh, palettes to give it to make it look the right way, so, or uh, DT1 files, so. Um, now that, w did I actually, oh, I didn't extract this. Okay, so F5, and we're going to just do no to all of these, because I figure the expansion ones are probably newer than the these ones here, but that way you're just not extracting more things than you need to um, by doing the expansion first. And then there is the patch file that it mentions in the loader, but all the files in the patch file just seem to be, uh, there it is, um, you know, file whatever dot xxx and some wave files somewhere in there too. But nothing that I know how to really make use of there. A couple DC6 files. But not much that uh, I know how to make use of there. So I figure they probably incorporated it into the, uh, the actual files or something now. Anyways, now that all of that's extracted there. So you've got pretty much all the... Um, Alright, here so you can see. You go to data. And now we've got Excel. We've got the things we extracted there and tiles everything we extracted here um, so and this is just in the I chose that folder in the MPQ editor but wherever it has selected is that top folder there that's where it's gonna send everything to now the reason I send it to this folder here is uh, if you're using custom uh, like forcing up um, DT1 file um, and it's not in this folder or in a subfolder within the like DS1 edit folder, then it just gives you an error for whatever reason. So, um, so now that we have everything there extracted, um, we're going to open bum 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 this uh, AFJ sheet here, or you can use Excel or whatever else, but we'll use this just because this is what uh, anyone has access to, right? So now we're going to go to open, and we're going to go to DS1 edit, and we'll open up this map list here. And anytime you open up something in this, you're probably going to want to click this, this, these two things here to lock those, and click anywhere that's not right now. Move it to size and everything should look a lot better. And now we are going to also go open and go into where we extracted those Excel files. We don't really need levels right now, but. And you can see you can swap between it all at the bottom here. But we'll just make these little easier to read. Perfect. Alright, so the level pressed one here is uh, pretty useful in that it tells you um, you know, all the different maps that are in the game basically there. Um, you know, and where which multiple maps it could call from um, as well as the DT1 mask which uh, might go into some other day but not today. Uh, not useful for most people. Uh, level types here, um, where you can just, there's basically, you know, these 38 main level types. And each one of those is always, is going to, by default, pull up, you know, all of the attached DT1 files with all the graphics on that file and floors, walls, etc. So, um, you know, when you're trying to pick an area to go with, you know, you can come here to see which files they should have access to. 
Um, the one with the most is Barricade, but there's some other ones that have quite a bit too. But there, there should be, you know, I might go into it in another video ways to get uh, stuff from other parts of the same act all working together nicely. Cross act, so a lot of the time there's color issues, but some acts 1 and 3 and 4 and 5 sometimes work uh, nicely without any weird colors. Uh, and last but not least, your map list one here. And this is probably the most useful for everything you're going to be doing right now. Is any of these ones here is a map that you can pick. And right there you've got, you know, what are they? What folder they're in? And then this number here is the uh, level type there. Um, that it's going to pull from. So for example, you know, uh, Act 1, Bridges, right? and it's Act 1 Outdoors, it's going to be Area 2, which is uh, Wilderness right here. So it will pull up all of those uh, DT1 files for that area. Um, and then the second number is actually what like area of that place it is, uh, which isn't super useful, but it does require it to go ahead a lot of the time. So now that you've got all of these open, uh, try to figure out what an area is that you're going to want to do. Um, find it, that area in the map here. And for simplicity's sake, today we're going to work with uh, Temple because it's small. And that way there's a, a lot less for us to do. So, Temple in Act 3. As you can see, not a lot of stuff going on here. So let's just go with uh, Temple 0, right? the first one why not right so what we can do now is go to finally to ds1 edit here and we're going to go to ds1 loader and double click that and it's going to ask us to set up the uh, thing it should just be in the same folder if you extracted it to the same place so click it there and also do this little checkbox here to make sure that it associates those files with DS1 Edit Loader. And it should say registered. And now we're in. Now, the f if you do have a Diablo in a different directory, you are going to want to uh, make sure you change it here. Um, if it is in the right spot, you don't have to do this step here, but you can also just copy and paste like that to make your life a little bit easier. And then nothing else in here is a big deal unless you want to like make it a little bigger um, or change anything else, but there's really not much in here you need to change. Um, so just click OK. Um, now the next thing you can do here is, now the, uh, hopefully you've got a level selected, but if, uh, let me just make sure I don't get lost in where I'm going here. Alright, yeah, so now that you've hopefully decided on a level that you want, uh, now you're just going to add go to add here in DS1 loader and just go to your sources and to where you extracted it so we're doing act 3 temple temple and uh, we'll do temple 1 why not okay and we'll just do this as a test here now that you've got at least one there you should be able to go to run and it'll take a second there and then bada bing bada boom here's that um, map all loaded up here for you um, this way you can quickly kind of see what a map is if you're not totally sure as well uh, you can also right click to get to the spot where you change the, uh, any of the walls floors etc have a look here scroll around i'm just using the arrow keys it'll tell you you know which dt1 it's loading that from there so as you can see here, most of those are Karas. This one's some Travancore. Um, and then you can also, you know, each, f you can have four walls per square 
and you can also have uh, the up to two floors for it. Sometimes there's special other things here like roofs and stuff too, not where special is, but uh, where there's an actual roof uh, button there. But you can just kind of use this to quickly look around through a palette quickly and see if it's something that, you know, or a DT1 file and see if it's something that you like and uh, you know if it is then you can uh, work with it you know you can combine floor pieces so you can take like a one floor and take a set on floor two you know take a different thing here and stack it on top or whatever alright so hopefully you know now you've gone through and you've picked out a map that you you actually want to do something with here so um once you've done that and everything is good here, we're just going to close out of this for now. So you can just keep going through them until you find one that you want to start with. It'll show you that info there. But we'll remove that from the list here for now. Now the next thing we're going to do is actually go back to the Act 3 Temple 1. And I'm going to just copy this here, and I just control C, and we're actually going to go back, I'm going to throw this in that My Files folder here. And now we're going to drag this into there, or actually we're going to, uh, yeah, well let's rename this something else then too. Um, so this one can be called My Map, or whatever you want it to be, right? We'll call it my map for now. Now you can just drag this in there if you want to. Now because it's not a um, DS1 that it knows from the map list, you actually have to manually add it. So it'll pop this thing up here saying maps not found. Just double click on this part here and you'll get this part here. Now this is why it's useful to have this over here. So you can see temple one. You can just copy and paste from here path. And then 22748. So 22 and 748. Comment blank. And then just click OK. And then it'll ask you if you want to add that to the map list. So you click Yes. And now um, you should be able to run it here. And it should be the same map here. It's just got a different name now, right? Um, um, so now what you can do is go to view and show parameters here and go to resize and resize it whatever you want your new map to be so let's say 150 by 150 because that's what they were recommending unless you're uh, you know doing a really long skinny map or something like that but 150 by 150 is fine and then you're just going to go to make batch here and you can just make that right into you know this my files folder here and we'll call that one also my map and now when you go into there you should see this my map dot bat file we just made here and it has uh, been forced to resize to 150 by 150 so as you can see here at the top of the map where my mouse is I can't go any higher at the very bottom left down here you can see the number so 0 by 0 up in this corner down to here is 0, 0149 and then 149 149 way down there so we're and then the right side is there so it's a pretty big area right um, and now you can just delete everything if you want so I just select it all, click and drag it. It's easiest to go up and down or down and up. And then a lot of the time you're left with all this extra bogus crap here. So you can actually just uh, go to your hit tab to get this up here. And then click on any of these that you don't want. I'm just shift clicking as many as I can. And now we gotta find the rest of them
So a lot of the maps don't have nearly this many, but this is can be a little tedious. You have to click on the very bottom where that like dot is too, basically, to uh, select it properly to delete them. All right, perfect. So I'll, now we are completely blank here, and what we can do now, if we want, is just Control S, and that will save it. Now, as you can see here, uh, we now have the mymap.ds1. That's like your end file. Um, now, it also makes a old version here with the triple zero. Um, but the most current one is the name that you'd expect it to. It just makes backups every time here of the previous version in case you do something silly. Um, but now this is a completely blank, you know, full map here with the uh, temple tile set here. So... Um, you know, we could, uh, th and it has all of this stuff loaded in, uh, it's GT1, you know, assets at the moment. So, uh, now that that's saved, we can actually quit that there if we'd want. And, um, so that's kind of the base starting point there to just get a, you know, clear blank map with the right, you know, initial stuff for you. Now, uh, if you want to just go for making, you know, a palette file to copy and paste sections from, that's what I'll walk you through next here. So what we're going to do now is um, actually copy this DS1 here. And we will name this one Temple Palette. And again, we can just copy. Oh, I don't know why that didn't copy. Twenty two and seven four eight. Perfect. Add that to the list. Okay. And now I'll run this here. This one will also just be a big blank one here. Okay. Or this It's an exact copy of what we just had. And now what we can do is go to File and Add. And we're going to go to... Uh, this part here, we don't have to copy them over because we're not going to be editing the files at all. Uh, I just like to keep a clean copy of all my files here, which is why I copy them over to the other one. And that way, um, this folder here is only, you know, the plain vanilla files in case you need to go back and grab anything again. And you don't want to have to extract anything twice. So, I'll just make your way here and we're going to grab all of these temple files. And it might take half a second here but as you can see they're all loaded up there now. So now we have the full temple area here. Um, and now you can click run but don't do that. Do not do that. Um, it takes like 10 or 15 seconds for each one it wants to load and if you have like 60 or 100, 100 is the max uh, DS ones you can load at any time together. Uh, it takes, you know, a long, long, long time. And this is like almost an instant what I'm going to do. So just go to make batch and uh, we can have one here and I'll just name it the same thing here, which was temple palette. Save that. And uh, now in this folder here, we should have that temple folder bat and the uh, INI. So the INI here is just the list of all of the ones here, and it's in order too. So this one will be the first one it loads, and then everything else after will be, you know, the next ones. And the bat, you know, just says to load that basically. So now we can actually just double click our temple palette map here and now the first one here we have is you know nothing at the moment but 
Um, you know, that's the one from before, but now if we hit two, or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, um, those are all the first ones there. And then if you hold control and hit two, or three, or, you know, whatever, it'll go to the next page. Um, you know, control two for page two, control three for page three, if you do have multiple pages, that is. So now you can see, like, up here the numbers change. Uh, we have nine, you know, multiple temples here up to the last one there. So, what you can do is just go to, you know, anywhere here, find, you know, a nice, good starting spot. I'm just going to start at the very bottom. Mm, down, yonder, perfect. So, anywhere down here, perfect. And we'll just load the first thing here, and you can just usually just scroll bottom top or up to down, control C, and then just hit one to go back to this, find a good spot for it, plop it there. And then go to the next one. mistake just control you to undo there now I have it all copied okay, that looks to be what the end of what I can fit there which one did I just do okay six seven Eight, nine. Once you kind of get a rhythm going, it's pretty quick. Ten, and now this is where you know I've got five and five. We need the control two, and make sure on page one there, and get this one. Control one. Now it'll save which page you were on when you swap between, or which. DS1 you're on when you swap between pages. So right here you only have to do like control two, then the number two, copy, and then whoop, and then control one. Control two, three, copy, control one, control two, four. I think whoop, I think this might be the last one. Two, five. Yeah, that's the last one. So now that you've got all of those done there, you can see all of the areas here saved on one area now. You can save this one here. And we can just close this down now. Sometimes, there we go. And now um, if we were to you know, just load up just our temple palette. Uh, DS1 here. You can see this map now contains all of these, right? That we copied over. I might have trimmed that one off by accident, but you get the idea there, right? So you can then come here and be like, oh, I like, you know, this whole section here. Or you can hide, you know, certain parts of the uh, thing there. Maybe you don't want the walls, it's certain floors or whatever, or maybe you want that whole section there. You can just copy that and then kind of do the same thing where you add, you know, this file and your blank one and just copy and paste little chunks here together over and over and keep going back and forth between files copying and pasting until you get something, you know, that looks pretty good. Um, now, this one doesn't have a lot of palette files here, so I guess I will super quickly just go into one thing that you can do here. So we will close this one down here. Now, a lot of um, these maps here, 
as long as you're on the same one, you should be able to force the DT1 here, and then you're going to actually have to make sure it has what it needs to begin with. So, temple. Um, let's check this thing here. Oh, okay, it's classified as, I think, a town. Oh, wait, no, sorry, it's classified as a... Karast. <laughs> okay. Um, the more you know. Okay, so, Act 3, Karast. Grab these assets here. And then, I think think it also had one I'm not going to figure out what it is right now but it was something from there uh, but now that you've got everything it definitely needs now you should also be able to go in there and let's say you want um, to throw in um, just some jungle right so I'll throw in all of these things here as well and click OK now we're going to just uh, run this here, just to have a gander. Uh, as you can see, um, we have all sorts of extra, you know, palettes loaded now too from Act 3, from the areas I just threw in there. So you can theoretically, you know, take these, um, and you know combine them and kind of figure out some stuff from the same X here because now we have a lot more options and all the other stuff we used to have so you can kind of combine stuff but you can't really mix it between X because of the palettes um, the odd thing looks okay and doesn't go weird but most of them have really weird colors um, and then what you could do too is you can you know you could load uh, an area that has that palette on it to do one part of the map basically and paste it over and in you know when you're working on it you won't be able to see this stuff in the palettes for the map that you have it loaded under but it's not really a big deal um, you know in the end when you want to actually test make sure it looks good you can just force the palettes and eventually when it's being put into the game you, sh uh, you know I imagine it'll just get a its own level entry for the map, so you could easily set up which uh, files it's looking for there and just give it its own code there, so I'm not worried about uh, any of that. So that's basically um, what you could do to get multiple stuff there. So for example, let's say I want to change this one here now that we have, you know, we have roof tiles here too now uh, from Karast that I mentioned before. Uh, there's also shadows too. Um, but let's just change the floor here to, um, you know, uh, some grass, right? Uh, just some regular grass, but you can also see, you can put like a wall there, go to wall two, and then maybe put that side of the wall. That way you can do, you know, corners and buildings and stuff. Um, Generally, the walls, you only do those two back spots there, and then anything else goes on top on wall three and four. So, um, you know, wall three and four aren't as big a deal unless it's like an extra thing like that, right? Where you can add, uh, it goes in the middle for like objects and whatnot. Um... Other than that, that's about it. You know, play around, co come up with a good idea for what you want everything to look like, and then you should be able to either stick with one palette and from a good map and just copy and paste everything you need, and you know, do it in little sections, or you know, get really creative, mix stuff up, 
through stuff and for multiple uh, acts and stuff like that make it really custom and and cool you know it's exactly as much work as you want to put into it but either way I'm sure everyone's gonna come up with some super cool stuff right but as you can see there's like s you know just in those ones I added here we've got so many more graphics to look through uh, things we could you know potentially do so and you know you can really get crazy with you know some of all this stuff here you know mixing and matching and tiling on up to like you know the four walls and two different floors and you know you can make some really really interesting looking stuff right so and then even throw in a shadow <laughs> um so that's you know up to you uh, what you want to do there but that's just kind of how to get started all the tools you need to get going you know whether all you want to do is copy, you know, room by room and maybe, you know, leave out some of the walls. I'm not going to go into all the hotkeys for this here, just because you can read them off the website. But, uh, you know, just look at the bar up top. Uh, it usually tells you a lot. Tilde, the button to the left of one, makes this bar here, which will tell you, you know, if you do have multiple sets and indexes and stuff to jump between with here. One, two, three, four, and control one, two, three, four that's where you'd see that and you know up here you know f5 f6 shows you which like walls uh you know your floors um you know what whatever you got right so and i'm sure you guys can figure out the rest it's not super intuitive insert to insert stuff delete to delete stuff and uh copy then click instead of copy then paste with V you just copy and then click the destination and uh, that's about it for now uh, any other questions you know feel free to ask I am available on discord or wherever but uh, hope you all have a good one and come up with some pretty sweet stuff <laughs>